Hi guys, um, my name is Emily, I'm with 10X, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I, to make a super easy professional email signature. So this is going to be just a super quick video on how to make an, a professional email signature. So I did a bunch of research and I found that Wise Stamp is the easiest for me to use. So here we are, we're at wisestamp.com. And um, just so you know, I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I found that they make the process of making an email signature very easy and smooth compared to a bunch of others that I was checking out. So I've already created one for myself as I was doing my research. I just went ahead and made mine. So I'm going to be making one for my husband so I can take you through this from the, from the beginning. So I'm going to choose four individuals because I'm going to want to make this for free. And... Um, I'm not sure, but for organizations, may, they may charge you for that, but there's a free option. So we're going to do the free option. So I'm choosing four individuals. My husband's information. His name is Aaron Tiamsland. His title is founder. Pasting it in. Um, make sure the whole number's there. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to upload an image. Just choose that one. Okay. And I'm also going to add in our company logo. Okay. So after I filled out this information, you could also go to social and fill out all of your URLs for all of your social um, profiles and then on the templates page I really like this so that you can make it look good and see how that horizontal fits everything nicely and neatly here so you can find something that works good for you these two are free at the top the other ones cost money so whatever you want so um, everything in design I believe will cost you money and it's pretty cheap it's like five dollars so if it's worth it to you great but we're just doing a free one today so i'm clicking that i'm done then i'll sign up with google or yeah i'll sign up with google you when you do this but you do have to hit allow here and I'm going ahead and I'm going to trust them. The settings button. Then see all settings. Okay, and then I'm going to go down and check. See if it fixed it. And it did. And so since we had the free version, they put their, their um, call to action right here. And we're just going to delete, go ahead and delete that because we don't need that on ours. Though we appreciate very much what they've done. So we go down and we just hit save changes. Oh, and I have to also, also it's important to check to use the, um, use the signature. which is right here, which is on. So, so that should work. Um, since it's, as, it's the same as it was, I'm gonna try compose and we'll see, yep, it works. So just hit compose to check if it works. Check um, that your signature is on and just hit compose if you hit compose and that comes up then it worked okay thanks guys um we will i will see you later bye okay guys um just wanted to add on this little bit to go with this uh professional signature creation um we allowed wise stamp to have access to um the gmail account and anytime we do that we want to go in after, after you find that you like the signature, 
then we want to go into um, security. Oh, we go into your Google account, manage your Google account. Okay. And then we're going to go to security. Okay, and then from security, we're going to go down and find third party apps with account access. And from here, you can see there's Wise Stamp has access to Gmail. And we're just going to remove access. Click OK. And you should be good. Okay, that's it. Thanks, guys.